some interesting things oh, this yeah. week. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. we, we have. We have. I have an opportunity to be with the one and only Miss Sheba Turk. Oh, she's oh, adorable. Love she's her. gorgeous. Oh, he was fantastic. You oh, know, Sheba she is adorable. Is adorable, a beautiful spirit. Yes. And WWL TV anchor. She's just done so much in a short period of time. Yes. So we got together, we talked about our careers, we talked about where we are in life. We even got to, for me, first time, I did yoga with a twist. Uh-huh. Yoga with a twist. <laughs> of what, lemon? What? <laughs> <laughs> There you go, buddy. Sheba Turk is an anchor at WWL TV. She holds down the Eyewitness Morning News with tens of thousands of followers on her social media platforms. <laughs> Sheba! <Hi. laughs> Girl, what are you up to? Oh my God. What have you gotten me into? Go to yoga! Look okay, how cute I they the are! Notes. I see the mat. Say hello to Fats and Domino. Hello, Fats Hi, and guys. Domino. I thought we would be in an air-conditioned studio and they would bring the goats to us. I had no idea we would go to where the goats were. Welcome to goat yoga, and this is your first time? Yes, it is. Have you done regular yoga? No. Okay. <laughs> I am open to new experiences. Reach your hands up towards the sky. Hold. Okay. Inhale, upward facing it's a goat. goat push up. <laughs> Downward facing goat. Hello, goat. <laughs> I wish the goats would help with this part. <laughs> Find your balance, fats. Find your balance. Me too. There you go. It's goat yoga. You're doing it. <laughs> goat yoga. Impressive. Tell me this is not a life changing experience. All right, remain calm. You're doing it. You're doing it. I don't want to stop doing things just because I reach a certain age. Namaste. Namaste. Hey, we, we did, did it. it. Ooh, we made it. We made it. I wasn't sure at first, but really? it was fun. It was a lot of fun. You know, I've been thinking a lot about all that you've achieved. Uh, did you put together a plan or a map of what you would do at such an early age? I don't know that there was ever a plan. I always knew that I wanted to be successful. I like to feel like I live my own independent life, make plans for myself, but I have to admit I can't get over the number 30. What's wrong with the number 30? I feel like I had all these ideas of where I would be at 30, and in a lot of areas, I'm just not meeting them. So are you happy with your life? Yeah, I'm very happy with my life, and I think that's the difficult part, that I've made up this number 30, and all of us have. We've set up all these things outside of ourselves that have nothing to do with our lives. We've looked at everybody else's lives and where they are and made up this number 30 and decided we need to be a certain place by then. Yeah, yeah. I think young millennial women are going, no, this is not what I want to do. This is not what I want my life to look like at 30. And I actually think we've been really great at that, right? Doing great things with our careers, buying homes later, getting married later. We're doing it on our own time. The part where I always get caught up is biologically, a woman has a certain amount of time to have a child. And so every time I remind myself, I'm making my own plan, things are going great, don't stress out. I think, okay, but biology, I can't change that part. Right, and that happened with me when we made the decision not to have children, my mm -hmm. husband and I, and people are saying, you're gonna look back on this and regret it. Do this, be this way, do it by a certain time. But I'm saying, forget all that. All I can say is we only have one life, and it's hard, and you're gonna get the you shoulds questions, but at the end of the day, you're the only one who's looking you in that mirror. Go for life, don't worry about the age. And yeah. if you don't decide that you have the right to be happy and the right to choose, you're going to look back on regret. Love you, girl. Love you, too. <laughs> Go yoga for life. I don't know about that. <laughs> Today, we're in the French Quarter, and we're going to look into ladies' bags. I want to see what other weird things that they may have in their bag. Do you mind if I peek in your purse? Go for it. Oh, my good. I don't know where to begin. Well, we got tickets here. Free drink. <laughs> Boy, is that good. Are you too young to drink? Because I'll take your place. Now, let's see. We got, oh, I love this. <laughs> really smart looking. Come on, babe. Oh, yes. I did that so I could see what I look like. <laughs> you have a chance to <laughs> dig in my bag Ooh. and come out with a treasure. You Close your eyes and dig away. <laughs> okay. It's something the family oh. can use. <laughs> <laughs> These are my favorite mints. Oh, they are. The are they the whole entire world. Yes. Oh, I are love you taking them back? No, 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 no. <laughs> right now. I know where to buy them. 
You're never too old to live out loud. Monica, Harriet, and I are heading out to drag school to prove it to you. This is the, the first time I'm not the oldest queen in the room. We need to hang out more. <laughs> you won't want to miss this, I promise you. There's more your mom and them after the break.